that he will need tonight if he's to win against Duran. Duran working the body of Hagler. For those people who claim that Hagler would be awed by this event, this is the time when it would affect him. He would be tight in the first round and perhaps be hurt as Duran hurt Leonard early in their fight. We haven't had any eruptions as yet. Duran with a short left hand. Hagler with a left hand of his own. On Hagler as he blocks that right to use the uppercut effectively on the inside as he's doing right there. Hagler working with the free left hand there as Duran was uh, holding on. Duran with a short right. Just past the halfway mark of round two. Hagler with a left hand to the head of Duran. That straightened him up. It looks like Hagler's having no problem moving Duran. Hagler comes from downstairs with an uppercut. Less than a minute to go. Hagler with the left hand on the head of Duran, and Duran gives him a sneer. And now we're starting to percolate as uh, the champion, Hagler, is starting to unwind. Duran with the right hand on the head of Hagler. On left to the stomach by Duran. Minutes to go in round three. Duran with the left to the head. Hagler with the right to the head of Duran. Duran with a short right hand in the face of Hagler. Another right hand by Duran to the head of Hagler. Hagler with a big left hand that rocked Duran. Duran with a right uppercut. And now Duran has gotten Hagler into a major exchange here in round three. While Hagler hasn't landed much, Duran's going for all those feints. Right hand by Duran. Hagler with a left to the body. That backed up Duran for an instant. Big swat of a left hand. And if he can land it, uh, he'll be very effective. We're halfway through the fourth. Duran with the right hand. A right hand by Duran. Right on the butt. A right to the body by Duran, but he paid the price. Hagler countered with a left hook to the head. And there he does it. As soon as I said he hadn't done it, he switches to the righty stance. Left hook to the head. Well, in the brief time he's changed right, he's fought well against Hagler, uh, Duran. In the workouts every day, Hagler uh, fought several rounds right-handed to be uh, sharp, to be able to show Duran that he can go both ways. And Hagler with a right hook from the lefty stance rattled Roberto Duran. And he landed a good uppercut just before that. We point that out because you should not be misled by the cheers of the crowd. Good Hagler job. with a right hand, Duran with a right hand. Hagler comes back with a straight left to the head. Duran with a whack of the right hand. They trade body shot. Right hand by Duran, and that was right on the chin of Hagler, but he's not hurt. And there's the bell marking the end of the fifth round. Hagler had put Duran off balance and wide open for the shot. Duran with a right hand by Hagler from the orthodox stance. Hagler with a left hook to the head. Hagler here applying some pressure. He's gone into another gear. And it's Hagler on the inside, not Duran, who's dominating the action as many people thought. Hagler now digging in. Durant's still coming forward. Big right hand by Hagler from the righty stand. That was his best punch. He's finding out how powerful Hagler is. Hagler with the left hand. Another left hand. Took to the head. Both fighters smiling at each other. Lots of gamesmanship here as the crowd is chanting Duran's name. We're halfway through the seventh. One of the misnomers about this fight was that Duran would not fight inside, that he would simply hold. He has been the one who's been dominant when they are inside. Good lead right by Hagler. Hagler pushing Duran to a fast pace here. He wants Duran to work hard. Hagler out punching Duran here in the seventh as he did in the sixth, and Duran seems undismayed. We are approaching the halfway mark of the fight. Al, I want your impressions about how 
one man has been able to prevail his will over the other, or is that a curve? Boyd is being hit really flush by Hagler, and now Hagler turns to righty, and watch how effective he is when he turns to this stand. He made a pivot move and brought that left hook to the head. It's quiet here in the eighth. First half of this round was quiet. It's been stepped up because of uh, Hagler's ability to punch and bunch it. Hard jab there by Hagler. Yet another one. A countering right hand by Duran. A wide stand. It looks like Duran here wants to really rumble. He wants to get the Hagler a close quarter. I like you as a righty. Change up and use that often. Hagler looks like he's ready to uh, accommodate Mr. Duran. Another right hand blocked by Hagler. Hagler with a three-punch combination on the head of Duran. Hagler slipping the jabs and pounding the body of Roberto Duran. So far, no indication that Hagler is uh, slowing the tempo. Good counter hook by Duran. It has no impact on Hagler. Hagler threw a lead left hand and... Uh, Hagler continues also to work the body very effectively. Hammering right hand by Duran the inside. Hagler appears strong there. They just banged heads. Hagler pressing the attack here. Right now, Sal, he is simply bullying Duran. Duran has slowed down somewhat. Chopping right hand by Duran, another one. Duran is slowing down discernibly here in round 10. And a right hand by Duran. Less than 30 seconds to go in the 10th. Uh, right hand high in the head of Hagler. Duran with another right hand. Well, he's still upright anyway, and that gives him a chance. A hard left hand by Hagler. Duran came back with his own right. And it appears right now that Duran cannot hurt Hagler. Hagler with a big left hand at the bell, and Duran gives him a mean look. Isn't it better for Hagler to put the pressure on Duran? Get him tired working these last few rounds. Referee once again lets them battle their way out of the clip. And here's where a rally by either fighter might steal this round. Certainly the quietest round of the fight. After going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Right hand by Duran on Hagler's head. Now Duran is punching more on the inside, working the body a little bit. It may be too late, but he has certainly picked up the pace on the inside. What we expected early from him. Duran with a right uppercut. They're swelling underneath the eye, the left eye of Hagler. They go toe to toe here in the 12th. Duran mocking Hagler. Dropped his hands to his side. Hagler's protecting his left eye. And Marvin looks a little bit tired. This is starting to have some of the earmarks of the first Anna Fermo fight. Marvin tiring a little bit and perhaps letting Duran back in this fight. And of course that's swelling under the left eye a factor now. Duran with the lead right, he followed up with another right hand. And Hagler's got a problem with swelling underneath his left eye. This is reminiscent at this point of the Davy Moore fight. When Moore went inside of Duran and Duran connected with right hand. This is Duran's best round. Good Hagler uppercut. with a left hand, an uppercut, points to his chin, as if to say, come on, hit me. Hagler with the left hand, Roberto with the right. And this is what it's all about. Two champions going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. <laughs> Best there's been since Carlos Monzon. Right hand by Duran. We're halfway through the 13th round. A left hand by Hagler. A right by Duran. Right hand by Duran. And both fighters have ignored the body. They are head hunting now. Duran with two right hands. Duran paws at him in the stain. Duran with a chopping right hand. Something's happened here in the last two rounds. 
Durant has shown that he is powerful and has been able to take the best from Marvin Hagler. And now it's showtime for Hands of Stone as he rattles Durant Hagler with a right hand. The sneer is back, and at the bell, Durant with a right hand. Uh, Marvin Hagler has swelling underneath on the cheekbone. We're into the 14th. Hagler comes out winging. And he came out right-handed and was effective. Again, I'm puzzled by the fact that he won't fight right-handed more often. Look at him go to the body of Durant. Good uppercuts by Hagler. In the first 20 seconds of this round, Hagler has been a tremendous force here. Duran backing up, looking to get some punching room. Right hand by Hagler. And I said the onus was on Duran at the beginning to make this fight. He has shown us. He has come back from an early deficit and fought well toward the end of this fight. But will Durant come on in the second half of the round as he did in 13? Hagler with a right hand. We're halfway through the round. And this is what Marvin Hagler did not want. A, a relatively close fight going into the final rounds. He was very, very concerned about this. Now Duran is giving some lateral movement to Hagler and he's taunting him. I think that the Hagler's got a cut. Yes, it's around his left eye. Hagler is cut. But here in round 14, despite the sneering, it's been Hagler on the inside dominating the action as you see him doing right there. Hagler with a strong right hook to the head. He may need a knockout to win, but it's up to the judges. Duran points towards his chest. He says, come to me. Look at Hagler ripping shots on the inside. He's so effective there, working the body and the head. Hagler goes right to it. Big left hand by Hagler on the chin of Duran, but Duran is okay. So okay, he sneered again at Hagler. And that cut has not reopened on the left eyebrow of Hagler. Duran now sensing that we only have a few ticks left on the clock, trying to uh, get close enough Trying to get some punching room, but it's all Hagler down the stretch. Hagler with a big right hook and a left cross. Hagler takes a right hand from Duran. Hagler not taking any chances here, and he wallops Duran with the left hand. Duran with his back to the rope takes a right hook. Hagler finishing with a drum roll here. If he feels there's a doubt about this decision, he certainly must be cementing it here in this 15th round. Ripping body and head shots to the head of Roberto Duran. 20 odd seconds to go in the fight. Left hand by Hagler, and Roberto Duran drilled Hagler with his own right. 15 seconds to go. Two warriors, two champions, going the full 15 rounds. Hands of Stone turned out to be a formidable opponent, and he rocks Hagler with the right hand, Hagler with the left, as we head for the belt. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges. Judge Guy, J Guy Jutra scores 144. 142. Judge Yasaka Yoshida scores 146, 145. Judge Odie Overton scores 144, 143. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the other